afternoon, everybody. I'm honored to be part of the Positive Living series. Um, today, we'll be talking about mood and Ayurveda as part of the series. I'm really looking forward to going through some of these um, slides and sharing them with you. Um, as was mentioned, we'll have some time for questions uh, at the end. So please um, make a note of it and we'll save some time for your questions. So as part of the series, when we're talking about mood, um, I, in this presentation, I haven't talked specifically about depression or anxiety, but essentially about uplifting mood. Um, if you're in Canada or in any of the Northern Hemisphere, we are in the coldest part of the year. It's winter time. Um, and this can be a time that can be hard for a lot of people uh, because of the lack of sunlight, the changes in weather. Uh, and on top of it, with pandemic, there's a lot of uh, changes and you know, people are more isolated and that has a profound impact on mood. So what I want to share with you today are some, um, a little bit of the perspective from Ayurvedic medicine um, and what are some of the things that can be done to help support mood. So first of all, a quick outline, we'll look at some of the mood changes in winter. What are some of the things that uh, we tend to experience more in winter? And then we'll go into the intro on Ayurveda. Okay, so Ayurveda is a system of medicine um, that originated in India uh, many thousands of years ago. But this is a system that can be applied to anyone, anywhere. So there are a few foundations that we'll go over so that you can get a good idea of what are some of the things that you can apply to yourself on a day-to-day -day basis for your well-being. So we'll go over the, the three doshas the five elements, the three gunas, Agni, Ama, and how do we manifest in the body, mind, and environment. Then we're going to take a little look at Ayurveda and mood specifically, and some of the aspects when we're looking at mood that include balancing the kapha dosha, increasing sattva, and improving Agni. And we'll also share a few simple self-care tips and practices that you can do at home and some time for the Q&A afterwards. <music> 